person who came up with the idea of Community One. I thought this would be a good thing to do, to try to build community. There was such a sense of the need to create a world where we felt that we belonged, and this kind of confidence that we can bring off something completely new. I was brought here by my mother, July of 1970. I am a respectful troublemaker and a woman of action. I'm a queer dyke elder, and I make things happen. <laughs> and a trans woman from Uganda and now residing in the city of Toronto, Canada. Being queer in Uganda is not easy at all. It is very, very punishable. There are a lot of challenges that I went through as a newcomer. There is a lot of, I think, racism, and it is not easy. You know, what should have, it didn't happen. It didn't bring us together. Racism was just as rampant as it is now within our many queer communities. It's so important to protest. We felt it was important to always make a political statement. It's a very different time now for young people in terms of coming out. It'd be nice if there was more opportunity to have contact with younger people. There's probably interesting conversations to be had. We are in a time where we as marginalized or racialized queer people can hold people in power accountable. I learn and grow all the time. Disabled and chronically ill people are forgotten about. If we don't learn the lessons of history, then we're doomed to repeat them. It's not one community. It's many communities that make up the overall, that we have to care about each other. Otherwise, we will not survive.